welcome back to another buildings video and well today uh, another suggestion is how can we can we create like areas where we are allowed to build and where we are not allowed to build and that isn't actually too difficult to do uh, the first thing that we need is we need to go to our project settings and we need to create ourselves a new trace channel which is only going to be used for this instance well uh, you could use some maybe some existing ones like interaction maybe or something like that but basically something that will block this specific box uh, but so that it is a different channel from all of the ones that we have over here and also well the visibility is not going to work because otherwise we're going to be blocking all kinds of other interactions as well so basically something that that is not getting used in that specific area so uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this to ignore by default so that everybody would ignore this channel. Only these specific boxes and these specific traces are going to be blocking this. So uh, let's call this uh, build area. Accept. All good. So we have our build area trace channel ready to go. Now we need to create these blueprints for these areas. So inside of the building folder, I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new actor, just a regular actor. Uh, and I'm going to call this allow build. Let's open this up and inside of here, let's add a simple box collision like so. Now, just so that it is a little bit easier in the level editor itself so that I know which is which I'm going to make one of these green. And I'm going to make thickness to like two. This way I'm going to be able to see which one it is. And also I'm going to select the self-reference. And I'm going to go ahead and add a tag of, let's call this allow. Compile and save this. All good. Let's close it off. And let's just duplicate this and let's create another one, which is going to be forbid build. And what we're going to change in this is the tag from allow to forbid just make sure you set the tag for the actor, not the component, but the actor itself. That is very important. And then once we have done that, our box color should be changed as well. So again, it is a little easier for us to detect. So we're going to make this into a red one instead. There we go. So we are all good with this. So now we can bring these into the level. Let's go ahead. Let's expand these if we want to whatever size that we need. So we're going to have one green one over here so we're going to be allowed to build in this specific part of the map so let's use uh, this area right here is going to be allowed to build make sure this is big enough just in case like so and we're going to have another one which is going to be our forbid build which is going to be uh, this box right here there we go. Now, obviously, if you don't have, if the box is not covering this entire area, like the forbid one, then it's going to allow us to build on this side as well. So that is very important to keep in mind. Um, also, you could set up some kind of a mechanic where it's only allowed in those areas. Uh, well, actually, let's 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 do that as well, so that we actually can't build over there either. But you can pick like one of these options. Basically, you could set up the forbid build in some areas and be allowed to build everywhere else, or just specify some specific areas in general. So let's see. We need our build component now. And did I? I think I forgot to do the most important step inside of these allow forbid builds. Our box collisions need to have their collisions changed. That's right. Completely forgot that. So let's grab our collision preset. Let's change that to custom. Let's ignore everything, but let's block our build area. There we go. Build area is getting blocked. And the same thing applies for the other box as well. We change that to custom ignore everything except for the build area that is very very important now that has been handled now let's go to our build cycle and let's think where we can actually implement this now we're gonna have this bunch of code right here which is going to do our tracing for us let's just do something near it and then i'm going to implement it in so first we're going to do a line trace by a channel which is going to happen on our newly created build area trace channel. We're going to use the same start, same end positions. Very important. And then from here, we're going to see if we have hit. And then we're going to break the hit result because it's only going to hit those two boxes because everything we set in the collision preset to be uh, ignored. And it's only going to block those two uh, boxes those two actors alone so everything else should be at false you should only be true whenever we hit one of those then from hit actor we want to uh, check 
actor has tag or rather let's get tags let's just get all tags because all we have is just two tags and as long as we have uh, those tags in the correct index this shouldn't be an issue so since both of those are at the first one we're just going to get a copy to the index zero and that's going to return us the first tag then i want to do a switch based on the name on the true route and then we're going to add those two names the first one was allow and the other one was forbid there we go so we have this bit of code as well now let's try to implement this and i actually want to so we're going to go ahead and from the if branch we're going to select all of our code from the if branch and we're going to move it forward because now we need to put that code in between over here so i might be doing some little bit of reroutes here and there so we have this one right here which is using the same condition so we're going to connect this to over here and actually bring it up here as well let's make this look a little nicer there we go and also our hit result could use the same thing we could move it to over here okay so we are good with this one now let's grab our code that we just created and bring it in connect the execution and let's see so now if this is false we just proceed with the code so we're going to do a reroute over here and we're going to bring that into our if branch check over here like so so that is all good and then we're going to have our allow also go there and the default if it for some reason has hit something which it never should do we're going to bring this to, to this route as well but it shouldn't do that because it should be there should be no option like this because it can only hit those two actors and they're going to have one of those tags now if this is forbid we just go to the bottom route right here which does not allow us to build there so basically the false route of this if branch check. So I might actually do a bit of a reroute over here and connect it like so. There we go. So now technically we should be, so let's, let's just test this out. So let's hit play on this one. And let me actually delete these ones. There we go. And we are forbidden to build over here. So we can build over there, we can't build over there we can build in between because we are still allowed to build in this area right here there is no blocking over here we just set up that this is the allowed space and this is the blocking space so basically at this point only the blocking space will actually work the allowed space will really take no effect whatsoever now let's make sure that we can only build in those areas right there so if you want to be allowed or forbidden to build then what you want to do for this default route instead and this false route uh, you don't want to go to the branch check so we actually leave this over here but instead of going this this piece going to the branch check we actually want to go to this route over here which is forbidding the build just like it does over there so you could actually do forbid to over here and then only the allow continues with the trace the, the, the previous code that we had previously and everything else so like the false from the second line trace and the default and the forbid goes into the false route over here, which is our uh, making build goes to red and not allowing to build. So now you will see that we can no longer build over here. We can only build as long as we are inside of that area, as you can see, as long as we are inside of that area, that's as long as we can build. And as soon as we get out of it, we are no longer allowed to build so basically now you have these two options that you can select from you can either whitelist areas or you can blacklist areas based on how you set up these conditions uh, and routes right here uh, so yeah that's going to be it for today's video uh, pretty quick one and uh, yeah if you enjoyed this one and you have more suggestions leave them down in the comment section below remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss the upcoming episodes and uh, yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one